Michael Mugan was arrested and extradited from Dubai in 2022. This week he has been jailed for 12 years for his involvement in an international drug smuggling conspiracy that originated from a cafe in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. To understand his story you have to go back to 2013. The Café de Catal was the Narcos Café. It was situated in Rotterdam and it was not open to the public. On the 29th of October 2013, Dutch police raided after gathering hours of intel after putting a bug inside the cafe. At the same time as the raid of the CAF, they also hit a number of addresses across Rotterdam and this unravelled what was going on inside. <laughs> Hey! Like you! Het licht heeft je aangaan. Hij geeft op rood zwart. Twee meiden zaten hier. Twee meiden zaten hier. Maar hij heeft voor de zekerheid. Hij zekerheid contact. Maar gaan we naar beneden? Hey ruimte. Vergeet je helm niet. The cafe was a place where importers would meet in order to facilitate importations via the port in Rotterdam. There was an intense security system and it was only for known faces and it became a very popular meeting point for drug dealers from all over the world and two gangs that was involved were British. It was situated in the heart of Rotterdam and it was only minutes away from the port and this allowed drug dealers from Spain, the Netherlands, South America and Britain to meet inside the Narcos Café to discuss large importations of drugs. It was ran by two Turkish brothers called Uga and Ofik Kamdir and they took commission for introducing major players to each other and also worked with Liverpool drug cartels. The Dutch police got the help of the NCA to identify men that they'd picked up on secret recordings and this is how it led to the arrests of Michael Mugan and his associates. After the police raid, many people went on the run and Michael was one of them. He was one of the most wanted on the UK's list for the whole eight years that he was gone. During the initial raid, Robert Hamilton, 71 years old from Greater Manchester, was arrested inside the CAF and he was jailed for eight years in 2014. Another person called Robert Gerrard, 57 from Liverpool, handed himself in after three years on the run and said the pressure was too much. The police said that they were trying to import hundreds of kilos of cocaine into the UK every single month using contacts from Latin America. And something else that drew the attention of the police was that Mugen was paying for a lot of this in cash. He had up to half a million pound at a time. They also got recordings of him discussing bringing in other importations from Argentina. The evidence showed that the brothers inside the CAF would get people that worked at the ports to allow the drugs to get through. They were carried on ships that had legitimate cargo and the people that were transporting them had no idea what they were doing. Michael had used various identities to escape the police and he travelled across Europe and eventually ended up in the UAE where he was arrested with a passport that said Michael Dyer. He was the 86th person to be arrested by Operation Captura, which is the NCA's answer to the amount of people that flee the UK and go to countries like Spain, Dubai and other countries they believe make it difficult to extradite. The two Turkish brothers were charged, went on trial and jailed for six years for the organisation of the cafe, which the prosecution said was a command centre for top-level drug dealers across Europe. The Dutch investigator Jerko Patist, the one that enlisted the help of 20 detectives and 100 officers to put surveillance on the cafe, they learned that there was discussions from all over the world and massive drug deals were being arranged in this little cafe in the middle of Rotterdam. It was often believed that Curtis Warren was one of the few people that was able to form relationships with Latin American drug exporters, but this story shows that that wasn't the case. Since he was convicted and jailed himself, many other Liverpudlians have travelled over to Rotterdam in order to be able to form their own connections and try to make as much money and become the next Curtis Warren. So I really appreciate you joining me for this story. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.